Hello and good day. Welcome back to our class. This is Teacher On and Guzman. And our topic for today is Markup, Mark On, and Markdown for Business Mathematics. So let's have the following words. The first one is the cost. Refers to the amount spent by the person or group who is putting up the business. Next is retail price. Refers to the selling price or the amount for which a merchandise is sold in the market. And markup is the amount the retailer adds on to the cost in order to gain profit. For the formula that we will use, we have the retail price is equal to cost plus markup, as well as the percent of markup is equal to markup divided by cost times 100%. So let's have application number one. So Frank sells a shirt for 200 pesos with a markup of 40 pesos. What is the cost of producing one shirt? So again, let's identify the given. So we have the retail price is equal to 200 pesos. Well, the markup is 40 pesos. Now, in order to find the cost, that is actually retail price minus markup. So, we have cost is equal to 200 minus 40. So, cost is equal to 160 pesos. So, therefore, the cost of a shirt is 160 pesos. Sometimes, retailers are more interested in the rate of markup done in the actual markup price. In such case, markup is computed as a percent known as percent markup. There are two ways to determine the markup. So the first one is based on cost. So take note that markup is equal to percent of markup times cost. Now in order to determine the percent of markup that is equal to markup divided by cost times 100%. On the other hand, we can determine the markup based on the retail price. So we have the markup is equal to percent of markup times retail price or the percent of markup is equal to markup divided by retail price times 100%. Let us consider problem number two. So a stock toy costs 250 pesos to manufacture and is marked up 60% based on cost. So what is the retail price of the stock toy? So first, let's identify the given. So the cost is 250 pesos and the percent markup is 60%. So again, for our step number one, we have markup is equal to percent markup times the cost. So the markup is equal to 60% times 250. So your markup is equal to 150 pesos. Next. We want to find out the retail price. So that is equal to cost plus markup. So we have 250 plus 150. So the retail price is equal to 400 pesos. So therefore, the retail price is equal to 400 pesos. Let us consider problem number three. So what is the percent of markup of Dell shirt based on the cost if it sales it for 500 pesos with a markup of 100 pesos? So let's identify first the given. So the retail price is equal to 400 pesos. Well, the markup is equal to 100 pesos. So for our step number one, we will find out the cost. So that is equal to retail price minus markup. So we have 500 minus 100. So the cost is equal to 400 pesos. Step number two. So percent of markup is equal to markup divided by cost times 100%. Substitute the value of markup and cost, so that is 100 divided by 400 times uh, 100%. So the percent of markup is equal to 25%. So therefore, we can say that the markup is 25%. Let's move on to problem number 4. So Grace get a bag at a cost of 2,400 pesos and wants to sell it at 40% markup based on a retail price. How much? will she sell the bag for? So let's identify the given. So the retail price is equal to 2,400 pesos, while the markup is 40%. So the retail price is equal to cost plus markup. And remember that the retail price is actually your 100% retail price. So the cost is 2,400, but your markup is 40% of your retail price. 
Now, if I'll subtract both sides of the equation by 40% of retail price, so you come up with 100% retail price minus 40% retail price. This is equal to 60% retail price. So on the right-hand side, we have only 2,400. But I want to find out the value of the retail price. So, I divide both sides of the equation by 60%. So, therefore, we can say that the retail price is equal to 4,000 pesos. While the markup may be thought as the amount that the retailer earns from the same, there is another quantity that measures the level of retail success. This is the profit margin or gross profit margin. It is computed as follows. So we have gross profit margin is equal to sale price minus unit cost. This margin indicates the strength of the retail business. It impacts market percent with the following relationship. So markup percent is equal to gross profit margin divided by unit cost times 100%. While the quantities are related, they are not entirely similar. Markup is always greater than the gross profit margin. This fact often leads to the incorrect notion that a seller is earning a certain amount of profit when in fact he is earning less. Another definition that we will talk about is the mark-on. Mark-on is a special amount added to the retail price for a specific purpose. If a product with a selling price of 62 pesos and 50 cents as a markup, then we have as follows. So for our cost of product, so that is selling price divided by 100% plus markup percent, so that is 62.50 divided by 100% plus 25%, or this is equal to 62.50 divided by 125%. That 125% is equal to 1.25. So again, 62.50 divided by 1.25 is equal to 50 pesos. So this is the cost of product. Next, the gross profit margin is equal to sale price minus unit cost. So again, 62.50 minus 50. So your gross profit margin is equal to 12.50 pesos. On the other hand, your percent profit margin is equal to gross profit margin divided by unit cost. So we have 12.50 divided by 62.50. So this is equal to 20%. While it is important to note amounts that should be added to the cost, determining the selling price also entails knowing when to reduce the selling price by a certain amount at appropriate times. An amount reduced from the original selling price is called markdown. Again, so markdown is an amount reduced from the original selling price. On the other hand, markdown is equal to original retail price times percent of markdown. Also, we have this formula, percent of markdown is equal to markdown divided by original retail price times 100%. Or, sometimes the markdown is commonly known as trade discount. Again, so trade discount is an amount markdown from the retail price. So let's have the application for markdown. Let's consider this. So a hoodie that has a list price of 800 pesos is on sale for 35% off. So what is the sale price of the hoodie? So first, let's identify the given. So the list price is equal to 800 pesos, while the percent of markdown is equal to 40%. So first, so markdown is equal to list price times percent of markdown. Then substitute. 800 times 40 percent so this is equal to 280 pesos as markdown it means that you've been able to save 280 pesos in the process next so we have the sale price is equal to list price minus markdown so the list price is equal to 800 pesos but you've been able to save 280 pesos as markdown so therefore, the sale price is equal to 520 pesos. It means that you will pay only 520 pesos. So therefore, the sale price of a hoodie is only 520 pesos. 
Let's have another application for markdown. So bicycle is originally sold for 5,600 pesos and is marked down to sell for 3,920 pesos. So determine the markdown and the markdown rate. So first, so if we will determine the original price so again, so that is 5,600 pesos while the sale price is 3,920 pesos. Okay, so for sale price that is original price minus markdown so we have 3920 is equal to 5600 minus markdown we do not know the markdown yet so again if we will try to manipulate this so markdown is actually 5600 minus 3920 pesos so we come up with the markdown of 1,680 pesos. Next, if we would like to determine the percent of markdown, so that is equal to markdown divided by original price times 100%. So we have the percent of markdown is equal to 1,680 okay, divided by 5,600 times 100%. So the percent of markdown is equal to 30%. So therefore, the markdown is 1,680 pesos, okay, and the markdown rate is 30%. So that ends our lesson of mark up, mark on, and markdown. Again, this is Teacher Ono de Guzman. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel so that you will be notified about my new videos. Thank you and good day.